on the Cowboys report today. How about a roster projection, 53 slash 55, and that's confusing. Allow me to explain. It is still a 53-man roster. However, you can promote two players per week from the practice squad for free. You can send it back down, I think, twice as the per-player number, which makes it 53 plus two. That's, that's the way we'll approach it. So it's not quite 55. It's not quite 53, but you're right in there. The practice squad numbers have gone up to 12 this year for most of the NFL. As you'll see, it's actually 13 for the Cowboys. The game day roster now bumped up to 48 players. So we're going to do 53 plus 13, as you'll see, practice squad players, which made it very tough with some pretty difficult cut decisions to make. We'll go at quarterback here to start. No-brainer first two. Dak Prescott, Andy Dalton, boom, they're locked into this roster. Ben DiNucci, the seventh-round rookie out of James Madison, is kind of the swing one here for me on offense. I could see him making the roster if he plays well in the preseason. Maybe they try to practice squad, stash him. I don't know which one it is yet because unlike most years, with a new coaching staff coming in, there's very much a clean slate across the board. Now, DiNucci was a Mike McCarthy pick. We'll see how McCarthy feels about it in the preseason and in camp. So does he make the roster? Type 1 for yes, type 0 for no. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section. Remember, I put DiNucci on the team, which led to some other cuts that I've only got so many spots to play with. Let's go to running back now. I'm going to have them roll with three guys again, including fullback Jermaine Olawale. So I got Zeke, I got Pollard, and I got Olawale. I got everyone else getting cut. Darius Anderson, Rico Dowdle, uh, Shaywo as well. Maybe you see one or two of them on the practice squad. Stay tuned for the end to see what the practice squad could look like for the Cowboys. I wanted to make room for an Anderson or, or, or a Dowdle, but there's a numbers game at a lot of key spots. And as long as Zeke and Pollard are healthy, that's all the Cowboys need at the running back spot. So I'll stash somebody on the practice squad and just roll with those two guys at the running back position instead. Now, one thing I can pretty much guarantee with a new coaching staff, there's going to be some surprise roster cuts. For example, Dan Bailey. This tends to happen each and every single year. So with that in mind, let me know in the comments who you think is going to be the surprise roster cuts in the comments. I'll make this the pinned comment of this video. So all you got to do is to get the, the ad break here, scroll down, make your best guess. Let's go to receiver, which was one of the toughest spots to narrow down for me. I wobble between five and between six. It's very much a, a wide open race. You got three locks, Cooper, Gallup, Lamb. Your next three comes down to like five or six guys, frankly. Maybe seven if you want to include some more of those UDFA. So it's a tough spot. I went with Devin Smith, Cedric Wilson, Noah Brown. I've got a guy who can be a nice almost slot, big blocker, Noah Brown. Wilson offers me some return value. Devin Smith has speed. So you could make an argument for John V. Johnson. You can make arguments for other UDFAs. If you're upset with me for not including your pet cat, which I think is still John V, just keep watching. Maybe you'll see him pop up in a little bit as well. When figuring out the rosters, I'm always trying to, to play the, the, the numbers game, right? How many of this position are the Cowboys going to keep on the roster? So for receiver, how many will make the team? I was stuck between five and six. I went with six. I, I, I we'll see what happens in the end. I see some sixes coming in. Let me know what you guys think in the comments section. Tight end was kind of easy for me. Uh, I don't think Sean McEwen's going to be the, the guy, not yet. Blake Jarwin's making this team. I think both Schultz or Dalton Schultz and Blake Bell make it as blocking tight ends. Three's always been kind of the magic number at tight end around the NFL, sometimes four, but for a team that's going to run a bunch of 11 personnel, I think three's the way to go. There is a tight end we'll discuss later that's also worth watching out for, but the real battle here is going to be for the number two tight end spot. Schultz or Bell? We'll see in camp. We'll see in the preseason. Remember, for a lot of these younger players, Mike McCarthy has no ties to them in the same way that, you know, Jason Garrett had ties to that organization. Now, we've been doing about a video a day here on the Cowboys Report. If you want me to do more and pull me away from other responsibilities here at Chat Sports, our main NFL videos, 
I need 75 shares from you guys on this video. You've done it before. It's possible. But I need you guys to put this on Twitter, on Facebook, on Instagram, on whatever. If we get to 75 shares, I'll be able to do an extra video for you guys here. So with that in mind, 75 shares here on this particular video. Five shares from you guys on this video. You've done it before. It's possible. But I need you guys to put this on Twitter, on Facebook, on Instagram, on whatever. If we get to 75 shares, I'll be able to do an extra video for you guys here. So with that in mind, 75 shares here on this particular video. Offensive line is first up here for the Dallas Cowboys because we're going by position. Adam Redman was the tough cut for me. That was a, a – I wanted to keep him. I know the Cowboys like him, but you, br you, you brought in Cam Irving. You're not going to try and cut Tyler Biedish or Connor McGovern. Ten offensive linemen's a lot to carry. I know they've done it before, but maybe if you're worried about Connor Williams' injury, maybe that's how Redmond makes your team in, in your this year. So I went with ten. This shouldn't be a huge surprise on the ten in the end here. There are some guys who will appear on the practice squad, but I want to keep Knight. I'm keeping McGovern. I'm keeping Biedish. So Redmond just ends up being the odd man out in the end. Cowboys jerseys are on sale right now, folks. 20% off some of them. Not all of them, but Zeke's on sale. Tank Lawrence is on sale. That is chatsports.com slash Cowboys1. Chatsports.com slash Cowboys1. 20% off for some of them. One of them not included in that sale, CD Lamb. Yeah, he's a rookie, first-year player. There's too much demand. Pre-order them now. That way it'll get to your house in time for the start of the season. That is at chatsports.com slash Cowboys1. As a reminder, don't worry, guys. I'll put that in the comments and the description of this video for you. All right, so that's offense. Let's go to defense now. Again, a numbers game here on the defensive line. And there's one notable player that we'll discuss in a second not pictured. You're keeping Dorrance Armstrong, or in theory, as, as one of your backups, Demarcus Lawrence, Gerald McCoy, Dontari Poe, Tyrone Crawford, Neville Gallimore. I want to keep Antoine Woods. If Gregory and Smith are reinstated, they count against the active roster. So that's two less spots than what I would normally have. I kept Bradley and I. I cut Joe Jackson, and I didn't include Tristan Hill. Numbers game. Who? And you can go back and look. Who am I cutting to keep Tristan Hill? I, I had actually would rather have Antoine Woods right now. I don't save much money. In this particular scenario, I hope that I'm able to find a trade partner. And I forgot to make this note earlier too. There are going to be injuries that help whittle this down a little bit. But Tristan Hill's a tough spot to find a spot for him because he's a three technique and he's the number three three technique. You don't normally carry that many guys. So what do you want to do with Tristan Hill? K for keep, T for trade, C for just cut him at this point. Ideally, I think trade would make the most sense. Maybe you want to keep him, give him one more year. Maybe you just cut him. Let me know what you guys think in the comments section. Let's go to linebacker now where I went thin. I did not, when I started this, I did not anticipate only carrying five linebackers. But I did. Sean Lee, Jalen Smith, Leighton Vander Esch, Luke Gifford, and Joe Thomas. That means I cut Justin March and I cut Francis Bernard. You'll see one of them in a little bit. If you are worried about LVE's injuries, I think you got to go with six. I don't think the Cowboys are there. And I think specifically with maybe someone like Francis Bernard, maybe what you could see the Cowboys do is end up choosing to make one of those practice squad players active on game days for added depth. Now, I know there's no backup for strong side linebacker. Gifford and Thomas can both play it. Like, don't, don't get too caught up in that, but I think for the most part, that would be their designation. But if you're a backup linebacker, you're playing all three anyway. Let's move to cornerback, which has the toughest, just pure numbers game to play when it comes down to roster cuts. I went with seven guys which is a lot of corners to carry. And that's Cheeto, Anthony Brown, Jordan Lewis, Trevon Diggs, Daryl Worley, Robinson, and I kept C.J. Goodwin for special teams. That means I cut some of people's favorite pet cat, Chris Westry. That means I cut Maurice Candidate. I cut some notable corners. 
I, but I, I don't want to cut Diggs or Robinson. I paid Roy enough to keep him on the roster. Anthony Brown's not getting cut. So unless I want to move Cheeto or Jordan Lewis or maybe a Warley or Kennedy, I, I, I got to make some tough calls here. Like, I know that we would like to carry more players, and you might be upset with me for cutting particular players, but I only got 53 spots. And corner is one of those spots you're going to have to make some moves, barring injuries. So predict this for me in the comments section. Who gets cut or traded at corner? I see someone saying Cheeto already in there. I think there is a chance that Jordan Lewis ends up getting moved because he's on the last year of his deal. I see a cut Jordan Lewis in there. I see a cut candidate. I went with seven. You have to cut two guys in the end. Seriously. So let me know in the comments section. Safeties was the easiest thing ever. Xavier Woods, Ha Ha Clinton Dix, Darian Thompson, Donovan Wilson. Boom, I got my four. It's not going to be Luther Kirk, I don't think. Simple, simple safety numbers. You go with Woods, you go with Clinton Dix, you go with Darian Thompson, and you go with Donovan Wilson. Those should be your safeties if you are on the Dallas Cowboys. Now, special teams, pretty darn straightforward here. So for those of you watching live, I'll also use this time to remind everyone the difference between 55 and 53. It's not really a 55-man roster this year. I know that's what has been reported. It's a 53 plus 2. 53 main roster guys, and then plus 2. You can promote two practice squad players per week. The practice squad is now at 12. So it's not really 55 because you have to send those guys back down. So it's 53 plus 2 of the 12. The game day roster is now higher, but the active roster is not going to be the full-fledged 55 in the end. So special teams-wise, Zerline, Jones, and LP. I don't like Chris Jones, but the Cowboys have brought in nobody else yet. So there you go. That's just the main thing there. Now, as part of that 55 versus 53, practice squad central, think of it as like 53 plus two flexes of, of your 12 practice squad guys, or for the Cowboys, 13. So who do you want? on the Cowboys practice squad. I'm going to break down what I tried to do, and I want to emphasize this as well. As we saw last year, you are a lot more likely to sneak guys onto your practice squad than we might want to admit. I remember everyone freaking out over Daniel Wise and Donovan Alumba getting cut. Then they got cut in real life too, and now they're off the Cowboys roster altogether. Funny how, how, how that turns out. All right, so practice squad, right? I went a little bit heavier at, at running back and fullback here. I think Shaywell could maybe be your Jameis or the Wally replacement in a year. Rico Dowdle, I I think he could be an option at running back. So if you only go with two backs, you want to carry at least one of those guys on your practice squad. I, I picked out the two pet cats at receiver, Kendrick Rogers and John Vay Johnson. The speedy guy and the big guy. There you go. I hope you guys appreciate that. Uh, Sean McEwen. Tight end, that's an option there for the uh, for the Cowboys. I think they, they, they like him as a blocker in particular. Terrence Steele and Mitch Hyatt, another pair of offensive The Cowboys love to invest on that offensive line, folks. I think they might consider it. Defensively now, which I don't know how probable this actually is, but I like them all. I went with three edge guys on top of the, the six that I carried on the active roster. Joe Jackson, who I think you could sneak through. Jalen Jelks. You can sneak through him. Rondell Carter, who they paid quite a bit of money to, but I have a tough time seeing him getting on the active roster in the end. Now, remember, it's supposed to be 12 guys. The issue is, or I guess the benefit is for the Cowboys, because Isaac Alarcon is on the roster, with the way the NFL's pathways to, to the NFL works, that's actually a free practice squad spot. So it's not 12 for the Cowboys. It's 13 if they keep him. So I kept him. Francis Bernard, and then I went ahead and kept Chris Westry as well. Hey Cowboys fans, thanks for watching the Cowboys Report. If you haven't already, click right here to subscribe to our channel for all the best Cowboys coverage on the internet. That's news, rumors, highlights, mailbags, film studies, and a whole lot more. And I'm making your lives a little bit easier as well with the next Cowboys Report video right here.